you ain't going to miss this. And what this helicopter says to me, this says fun, I'm a mean machine, I want to get out there and do the job. And I think that's a great point for it. Excellent, right, so first job you need to do a bit of walk around then. Yeah, we'll do a walk around. Well, first of all, I want to make sure that there is nothing obstructing any of the cooling elements and none of the metal strips are touching each other, especially around the cooling elements, so the heat can dissipate. Making sure that all the Jubilee clips, all the pipes that are attached, they look and feel secure, and just going over it again, just to make sure there's nothing too obvious. Then we'll come to the drive belts and the alternator belt, and I'm look, just looking to make sure that they look secure, they look seated correctly. Coming to the tail rotor itself, I'm checking now to make sure there's no damage on there. The pitch change links, making sure everything looks secure. Exactly the same on, on this side. Now there's one or two other things we've got to look at. The, you've got the fuel filter. Again, the Jubilee clips, making sure that they're all secure. The hoses lead away the way they should do. The alternator, the electric leads coming away from there. That's all okay. So you're happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Let's so, go and see what it flies out then. Hovering then? Let's do it some hovering. Lovely. OK, we've got instruments on. And keys on. OK, let's start the rotors then. Engage. <laughs> OK, that's started quite nicely. Clutch going in. Oil pressure is rising. Alternator is on. Vega 2 is on. Put the GPS on and the transponder, just in case we have to talk to Stansted. OK, let's wind it up to 100%. There's 100%. Let's do the Fadec checks. Let's switch off Fadec 1. Fadec 2 takes over instantaneously, that's great. Switch off Fadec 2. Number 1 kicks on instantaneously. Everything's working there. So far, so good. That kind of misfiring you heard when he started up was him just testing the Fadec. So that's all cool, not a problem. OK, we've got 100%. Now let's just check to make sure that the clutch doesn't drag down. There we go. We've got the engine dropping down, RPM drops down, rotor RPM drops down on its own, that's cool. OK, everything is good, let's get into the air. Off we go. Right, collective coming up. There we go, nice into the air. to the right then, let's see what we can do. Going right. That's nice. Now let's go left. It just looks fantastic in the sky. OK, let's try rapid turns. I'm delighted to say that flew very, very nicely. However, there are just one or two things I think we need to adjust. The belts are starting to slip. They're going to need looking at, but that was to be expected. What I'm not happy about at this stage, the cyclic is giving me about a two and a half inch starboard bias. Easily taken out, but it's going to need a little bit of correction up at the rotor head on the controls. And the collective is also very heavy. Again, we can get that taken out by moving the root of the blade down so it gives the blades a better fly-up uh, predominance. So how's that affecting in terms of flying it? How it's are you very, feeling that? Very fatiguing, actually. That would, you'd soon, if you were to fly this aircraft for any more than half an hour, you would be very, very tired. It looks fantastic from the ground. Absolutely brilliant. The dog's kahunas! Right, belts. Right, now, with me trusty tool, which slots 
gap in there. On the, that's it, on the belt. Now, it should, when I push this plunger in, it should come up to that middle mark. And if it comes up less, they definitely need tightening. So that's up to the mark. Right, so that hasn't quite made it, so they have slackened. It's not by much, so what I'll do is adjust the nuts on the back of the slider assembly. Probably something like about five flats on the nut should do it. Hermit to fly. Yes, this piece of paper from the CAA means I can go in my kit chopper for the first time flying. I've waited six months for this moment. I have been in and out of this helicopter so many times, fixing this and fixing that. But now, it's all together and I get to leave the Earth and go skywards. Right, mate, it's very exciting, this. Well, it is very exciting, but of course the downside is there's a dress code one has to observe to be a pilot. And Which is? Well, the first thing I think we've got to do is get you a tie. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah. Is well, that better? Well, let's go. Excellent. <laughs> let's go flying. All the best. Eventually. They are a bit of a, a, an yeah. oddity to start, aren't they? Right. You never get one that actually does it first time all the time. OK, everything's looking good, so let's raise the collective and the ballast the rate is on the back. Here we go, up into the air. This is it, the moment of truth. And we're up in the air, yes! Fantastic! How does it feel good? Oh, it feels so good, so good! Incredible! Mind you, you do make it look very easy to fly. Oh, that's very kind. Yeah, but it's a super fun aircraft, this, and you'll have a great deal of fun flying this. Pete's got a big smile on his face. Yes, and a thumbs up from Pete. He's as excited as I am. <laughs> this is just superb. OK, should we just take it around a bit then? Let's yeah, let's do, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, yes! This is what it's all about. Flying in a helicopter is the best experience ever, and particularly when it's one that you put together. Oh, just superb. And, and different to flying fixed wing is the visibility, particularly when you're taking off, you know, on a fixed wing aeroplane, you see nothing because you've got your nose in the air. Yeah, visibility on this is just superb. Obviously, but of all the things that I've ever built in the workshop, this is the best bit of kit without any question. It is just such a dream fulfilled. I can't believe it. Fantastic. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> a little bit of G-force there. Oh, it's just brilliant. Fantastic. That's it from a chopper is born. I hope you've enjoyed this series as much as I have making it. Building this helicopter has been the best workshop experience of my life. I just wish you could all come in here and experience this with me because it is just so brilliant. <laughs>